oh my gosh I just looked in the viewfinder and I realized that I am Kim Kardashian Ooh, looks like I have quite a bit of a bird's nest up in here hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm doing a very exciting video for you guys I went to Ulta yesterday and I picked up some KKW Beauty products by Kim Kardashian West and I was so excited to do this review and I'm happy that some of you requested me to do this review so this kind of like made it even more exciting for me to record. I currently have all the products on that I bought. I did buy one, two, three, four things. I think when someone like Kim Kardashian makes a product the whole world goes crazy over it and then a lot of um, influencers get these things for free to talk about the product and you really never know if a person's just saying it because they're paid to say it or because it was gifted or whatever the case is. I'm here just a regular Joe Schmo and I figured it would be fair to give you guys my opinion. Obviously I'm nobody special here but I would give you an honest opinion. I'm not getting paid, I'm not sponsored. I mean, if she would, that would be a freaking dream. It's like, hello, Kim Kardashian West. If you guys wanna see how I achieved this look and what I thought of the products, then keep on watching. Okay, so all I have on right now is my foundation, which is the Estee Lauder Double Wear, and I also have the Tarte Shape Tape underneath my eyes. I, I always use that foundation. I can't like replace it. I know she has like this um, contour or the highlight color underneath. I don't know if I wanna put that underneath just because I always cake down there. So I don't know, maybe I'll just do a little bit lower. But anyways, and then I have my eyebrows done. So let's jump right in. I'm going to use the highlight color here. I just sprayed some of the Tatcha Skin Mist on my face prior to putting this on. I'm just so scared because I don't know how it's gonna blend out. And if it like dries onto my face right away, I'm screwed and then I won't be able to blend it out. But anyways, let's go in, I'm so nervous. I will do the typical highlight here on the forehead. It seems pretty smooth and it does seem very thick so I am kind of scared as to how I'm going to blend it out but we'll see. I'm going to go down the bridge of my nose all the way down. I typically don't even do this when I do cream contouring because my nose is pretty tricky. I can never get it to how I like it. So let's see how I like this. Oh, so cute. Down my chin. Pretty much all the places that I want to accent. The color is gorgeous. I have to say for my skin shade, this is like ideal. The medium. And I don't want to go super close to my under eye. Maybe I'll just do a little bit just so I'm not skipping this step because I do want to see how she gets that brightness underneath. This could be a so far, it's applying really nicely. Let's see. All right, we'll keep this on. Hmm. What can I, like, ex this feels like a lipstick, if that makes sense. It's as buttery as a lipstick would be, and then when I blend it out, it blends out pretty much right away. So I think that's a good sign, <laughs> but we'll see how it is on the face, because I do have my foundation on, and I'm the type of person that once my foundation's on, the product is not good the contour product it's gonna take off the foundation underneath which freaks me out all right let's get into the contour stick I'm gonna use I think I'm gonna do the shimmer highlight at the end yeah I think so all right let's leave that so first I'm gonna take the darker side since there are two colors I'll take the darker and I will outline my forehead as I typically would with any cream contour. I always use a darker around the edge. Ooh, that is like buttery. Buttery. Like, I feel like I can blend it out with my finger. Do you guys see that? That's pretty freaking cool. I just hope that it lasts. That's another thing. And then, don't mind me here. Like, she lays it on her face. Like it's nobody's business. <laughs> That's a little crooked. It's okay. Then we're going to go with the lighter part on top just to kind of help blend out. That's what I would typically do. Watch this be like way too much. And I'm going to use the lighter shade down here because I don't really like to contour my chin. 
All right, and also I'm gonna use, I don't wanna do this, but I'm gonna do it for the sake of the video, just to see. I'm going to contour my nose. I literally never, ever contour my nose. Oh, geez. I'm gonna use this picture of her kind of for a reference. Like, this can make my nose look much bigger. If I botch this, uh, <laughs> she does like this cute little point. If I don't look like Kim K by the end of this tutorial, I'm gonna be a sad little girl. All right, the highlight shade. I'm so nervous also about this. I just wanna make sure it's like buttery enough. It's pretty buttery. I'm just so scared to take off my foundation, you guys. I don't know why that's a fear, but that's a fear. Let's lay it on. Lay it on. Okay, so I have everything laid on. So now it's time to blend it out. And my biggest dilemma right now is I typically use my Sigma Angled Kabuki to blend any cream contour out. And I know she uses her sponge, so I don't know what to do. Well, she has like the actual sponge brush and I don't have that. I don't know what I should use. Maybe I'll do both. Maybe for the nose, let's start with the nose because I don't want this to dry. I'm going to just use what I have here. Oh my goodness, it's actually blending really, like, quickly. And I'm, like, patting. I'm not rubbing because I'm smarter than that. You guys. It's pretty good. All right, I'm going to just blend the contour out first. It's blending like a freaking dream. Let's do the forehead because there's a whole lot of product up in here. Like I'm pouncing, but I'm not pouncing super hard and it's blending pretty nicely. All right, let's go in here where I put a whole bunch. I might have to use my brush for this. I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna carry it down to my cheek because I like my contour to accentuate my cheek area. It kind of slims my face personally. You guys, I don't know if the camera is picking it up. <laughs> I am obsessed. I'm so late to this party. I should have bought this contour kit when it launched. I had my eye on it, but I'm like, this is such a gimmick. Like, it's just because. It's Kim Kardashian's and her contour is always flawless. But this, I feel like it's not even picking up in the camera. It's the most natural yet perfect freaking contour. Okay, so this creamy matte highlighting part right here is definitely not blending as nicely as the contour shades. I'm so happy that I did that um, highlight. I was gonna skip that shimmer highlight part, but it is so pretty. It almost looks like it's a little bit wet rather than like um, shimmery. I don't like that shimmery metallic look when you like turn your face and it looks like a sheet of aluminum foil. I think that's so ugly. Again, I don't think that my camera's picking up how flawless the contour is. It just looks so good. It looks even better. I'm looking at myself in the mirror. It looks so much better. In, in real life than I thought You guys my face looks so good look how like look how good that looks I Look like I have that perfect little apple cheek and it's not too much and then that glow <sighs> Love it. I always set my cream contour with like a contour powder and I don't know if I want to ruin it That's the thing like I don't know how it's gonna take having some kind of um, dry powder on it. It just looks so good right now. Maybe I'll just leave it because it's just I, I don't I don't want to touch it You know what? I will set it just because I typically would and I want to give myself a full experience I'm literally barely touching though because I don't want to like rub the wrong way Okay, I'm using Mac give me Sun It's kind of like it matches this this warm contour that I have going and a little bit on my nose okay so on to the eyes 
I don't know what I'm going to do yet. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of wing it. Um, and I'll show you the colors as I go. The first color I'm gonna use in my crease is this one. I'm just gonna swirl it around pretty much my entire crease area and I don't mind bringing it down a little just to help blend everything else later. That is such a pretty color. This color kind of reminds me of Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek. That was like the shadow back in the day with Jaclyn Hill and I made sure I grabbed myself like three of them. I was always scared it'd be just like sold out and I blended out all my shadows with it but this is just a little bit more orange and I actually prefer this to be a little bit more orange. Next, I'm gonna grab this color right here and focus that more in my crease. This is such a pretty neutral brown. I'm just gonna sweep it like directly in my crease back and forth. So far, the shadows blend beautifully. I'd say they're very similar to Kylie's, but I actually like these better. I feel like these are a little bit more densely packed than the Kylie shadows. Listen, they could be made in the same lab and I don't know what I'm talking about, but to me, these blend more to my preference where they're just more densely packed. I like that. That reminds me of MAC shadows and I'm still a MAC girl. I don't like when a shadow's too loose where sometimes you blend it and it kind of blends into nothing because it's so pigmented. I don't know, that's just my opinion. Let's just say that if I created eyeshadows, this is how I'd want them to apply and blend. Like I can build them up and they're not vanishing as I blend. I'm telling you, these days, a lot of shadows blend away to nothing. Next, I'm gonna grab this color and put that all over my lid. I'm putting it on with my finger because I feel like anything shimmery applies the best with your finger rather than any kind of brush really. Now I'm gonna take the darkest brown shade here. I keep nicking the shadows with my nails. There's one, two, three, four nicks already. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm taking that brown shade. Ooh, that's pigmented, whoa. Gotta like tap that excess off because that's a lot. Wow. I'm gonna focus that brown on the outer corner and just kind of blend that in place. I don't wanna move it around too much because I don't want that dark color anywhere but the corner. And lastly, I'm going to take this champagne color and put that in my inner corner. Yes, I just nicked it. My goodness. This is a pretty subtle champagne. Enough to have your inner corners pop, but not overwhelming. Even though I love an overwhelming inner corner highlight, but this is like perfect. Okay, so I just quickly put on some eyeliner and some mascara. And now we're going to move on to the lipstick combo. I am... So excited for this. I did put this on yesterday when I bought it because I was so excited. Everybody is raving about her lipsticks and lip liner. Even when I was checking out at the Ulta counter, the chick was like, you are going to love the lipsticks if you haven't already tried them. All right, here it goes. I literally cannot talk when I put on lip liner. And if you can, then you are a robot. I'm going to kind of fill in the liner, but not all the way, just a little. This glides on. I don't want to keep saying like butter, but like butter. Almost where you have to be super careful because if you screw up by like the tiniest bit, you're going to see it's going to just it just transfers over so nicely. It has so much pigment that you have to be careful even with a nude. Should I just leave it like this? Okay, my favorite part. Okay, now that my makeup is all done and said and did and I'm looking at myself in the mirror, I'm obsessed. I think I already said it a million times in the video. Um, I'll start with the contour because that's what I applied first. You guys, like this was amazing, I have to say. I felt like that that contour was so natural yet so beautiful. It's kind of like that Kim K glow that you kind of want that everybody's looking for. I think she nailed it. The packaging's adorable too. 
I know that there was like um, some negative feedback about the fact that you don't get much product and you don't but I don't think she ever claimed to make this like a long-lasting stick it's kind of the point of business as well so you would repurchase the product so I'm not necessarily mad about that you guys like so unbelievably buttery So here are the two shades, and just so you guys see the blending ability with my fingers, how well that already starts to blend out. My first impression of the lipstick was that it reminded me a lot of Myth by MAC, which was like my go-to lipstick for many years. I still love it. It's a staple in my collection. This reminds me of it, except it's a little bit more pink, I would say. And when I put these two colors together, I was just like, I knew this would be exactly everything that I want in a lipstick for myself, like for my skin tone. It's just ideal. And lastly, I picked up her eyeshadow palette. This is the classic palette that she has out. The other ones she had out there looked amazing, but I obviously grabbed the one that's more like wearable every day. I don't know if I should swatch every single color. Like, do you guys care about that? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Like for instance, this is the champagne color. So gorgeous. I don't necessarily want to swatch them because I feel like I'm going to screw the swatches up and I won't give the eyeshadow palette justice. Here's the next color up. I use that in my crease. It's just like the perfect blending out color in your crease for every day. I didn't use this one. Which one's this? It's called Selfish. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Ugh, oh, it's so gorgeous. This would be like such a perfect color for the fall right now. It's got like a reddish undertone. It's so beautiful. I didn't use it today, like I said, but stay tuned. I'll use that soon. Honestly, all of these products are amazing. I can't say anything bad. I Everything worked so flawlessly for me today, as you guys saw on camera. I mean, I was putting everything on and I was just honestly just so surprised at how amazing everything performed. I guess the only thing that was slightly disappointing if I had to pick a negative would be the highlighter the matte part it definitely wasn't as creamy as the other colors like the contour stick was a lot creamier and then the highlighting the shimmer part was super easy to blend but the matte part just i don't think it performed as well but it was still really good if that makes sense okay guys i think that's it i think i covered everything i wanted to say about the kkw beauty products as always thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next one.